I'm just a nomad, nowhere man. My Cuban and Italian roots definitely impact my musical style quite a bit. Uh, first of all, I think it's in the blood, and that sounds cliche, but it's very true. My father is from Cuba. He came over when he was a young man, and he's always been uh, a musician. He played the drums, the uh, I think the trumpet, and the guitar, finally, of course. And it's funny, because uh, when I was a little kid, he would always do a lot of finger-picking type stuff, you know? Jim Croce and James Taylor, all those greats, you know, Dan Fogelberg. And uh, I would always say, oh, I don't want to play the guitar. <laughs> you know, kids say the craziest things. But it's just the opposite. Yes, my dad was a huge influence on me, which uh, directly relates to my culture, you know, the Cuban culture for sure. Originally, I'm from Long Island, New York, Huntington, New York, born and raised for most of my life. Moved around quite a bit. That's why I kind of took the name Nomad. Went from New York to Florida, Florida back to New York, back to Florida. <laughs> from there to Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, I live currently in Los Angeles, California. Uh, moved there to pursue uh, more film and television music. Uh, which has been uh, great, and I'm very fortunate, very grateful. Most recently, I've worked on the uh, Men in Black film score with the famed composer Danny Elfman. Danny is an amazing composer, and he called me to play guitar uh, on some parts of the, uh, of the film score. I've been working with Kenny Babyface Edmonds for the past five years or so. Um, I work with him on the road. I'm his musical director. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's just a fancy term for band leader. <laughs> These guitars, you know, an amazing instrument from an amazing man. I mean, let's talk about the actual guitar. Well, first of all, I'm playing the, uh, the new uh, Camriel, one of the new Camriel series, um, which is the, the more parlor uh, ty type body types, which is smaller, petite. Um, which singer-songwriters is perfect. The parlor shaped guitars, the, the more petite is like perfect for the singer-songwriter thing. You know, so if you're, you're doing a lot of finger picking. You know, just beautiful sound, focused you know, but still big. And that's what's amazing about McPherson. Listen to this, this is really cool. You try to do that on any other acoustic guitar, you're gonna hear all kinds of intonation discrepancies, literally. What I love about it is the intonation is impeccable, perfect. Now I know they've done quite a lot of things to the to the nut and the bridge and the saddle and you know I can't even get into the technicalities of it but whatever they did it's amazing because no matter where you play and I use triads triads are the best way to listen for intonation uh, a simple triad is just you know I mean that's a full chord but a triad is just three notes see how perfectly in tune they are all the way up the neck You cannot get any other acoustic guitar to do that. I'm sorry. It, this is just amazing. And for me, who's somebody who's trained in the classical tradition, uh, it's really important to have impeccable intonation. And that's one of the things that we study is, uh, you know, a good instructor will always tell you, listen to your intonation. Make sure you're not applying too much pressure to the string, and digging in too much, and shaking it or pulling it or pushing it, you know, because then it knocks it out of tune, okay? Well, you could take those principles, apply them to the McPherson guitar, and it's just perfect. I mean, there's no other way to say it. You can hear every note perfectly. Just
It's great. Everything is balanced perfectly.